All right, I am in front of a block that I am about to rebuild. This block, we already used it before, but we noticed that it was mixing coolant and oil. Honestly, we don't know what was causing it. We tried many things, but uh, it was continued to mix oil and coolant. But one thing I can speculate is that the moment this was happening, it turns out I had an issue with the uh, where you put the old filter that housing the old filter housing was not properly sealed so that's the only thing i can think of was causing it the coolant was passing through the old passage and that was mixing coolant and oil but today what i want to talk about is what happened recently if you have not watched that video I was hearing the lapping noise and that lapping noise was really, really bad. In other terms, it was a knocking, a knocking sound. Yesterday, I was able to take this out after three days and at the bottom of the open, I found these metal shavings, big chunks of metal, big chunks. And I'm no kidding, really big chunks. You see them? And I was like, okay, so if this came from the rocker arms or, you know, lifters and stuff like that, if they came from there, but why didn't I see anything on the, on the head? I didn't see anything on the head uh, and uh, I, I just got confused. So I kept on going, I kept on going. And since we already saw that they were scoring on the, uh, on the third cylinder, so I went on and uh, look at the piston on the on the third cylinder. The piston itself from this side looks good. No issue on this side. No issue at all. Everything looks good. No issue on this side. Everything looks good. No no deformation here, but the soon I went on this side. Boom. There is our issue. There, there is where the metal shaving came from and it's literally stripped out of here. Is the problem and this is where the noise you heard was coming from this piston, piston number three. Now, what exactly caused this issue? There are a few things that I can think of. One of them is old starvation. This is literally dry. It shouldn't be dry this way. But why is it dry? Why do I have all, uh, all starvation on my, on my pistons? Well, the only thing I can think of right now is the oil that I used. I used a too thick oil. I used a 5W40 instead of 5W30. When we did the break-in, the break-in we did with 10W40 and we moved on and replaced it with 5W40. If I have known, I shouldn't have used 5, uh, 5W40, I should have stick with 5W30. The, the clearance that I had on these pistons, or let's say on the crankshaft, the, those clearances should have just been okay with 5W30 rather than using 5W40. So that's where I can think could have caused the old starvation. The only thing also that I am asking myself, why didn't I get any warning on the old pressure? The old pressure was okay in terms of not getting any warning. But I was also noticing that there was oil leaking on the motor on the side of the PVC uh, breeder, like where the motor breathes. Um, N20 has a way where actually right here. So, so this line, this is where the motor breathes. And uh, it goes right in here, right there. And uh, this is where the motor breathes. I was noticing a lot of, um, a lot of oil was coming out of here as well. But this side, this is where we have the oil return for the, uh, for the turbo. But I also noticed it was dry a little bit, so the turbo was not getting a lot of oil either. So I don't know if the oil pump didn't supply enough oil so that it can lubricate all the parts needed to be lubricated. But again, 
why why didn't i get like a oil pressure issue or something like that because i kept on scanning the car and i didn't get any error in terms of um in terms of oil pressure and stuff like that so as we are building this now we just need to remember that we need to monitor the oil pressure and know exactly our operating pressure for the oil so that we have proper lubrication and the head as well so another thing I also noticed is the cylinder head. I didn't get enough lubrication on the cylinder head, including the turbo. The turbo didn't have enough lubrication I was expecting to get on the turbo as well. So all of this just really got me worried. Why did I get all starvation all over, all of the sudden? So I can think of maybe the tune because we're using the turbo and it was not spooling properly and all those kind of things that I can also think of that you know I can also I can also blame the tune wasn't it properly done but um, on this revision I am going to do everything possible to make sure as I finish the braking probably the braking period will just be on the dyno we're just gonna break this on the dyno right away I, I really don't care on following this thousand miles or whatever no we're just gonna break in on the dyno so as soon as I finish assemble this uh, you know we put the the starting oil we start we drain the oil we change it and uh, if everything looks okay we are going directly to the dyno but I am just glad that I discovered what happened, what was causing the noise. We do have a faulty piston, so I am going to replace this one. I don't think I need to get all four of them. Uh, if I am lucky to source this forged piston is the one I am going to get. Another thing I could also speculate is that there is a returning clip on, on, the, uh, on this side here and uh, it's appears to me that it didn't have that returning the returning spring on this side here that o-ring spring should have been here but i didn't see it so i may also just have forgotten to put it and i put a piece in and probably that's what caused it as well so two things all starvation or that spring because i cannot find that spring in the bottom of the of the cylinder i cannot find the the metal pieces of that spring because this spring stays right here and return this one inside the spring the spring return this inside so that it doesn't go out that what uh, prevents it from uh, sliding off but i didn't see it it was not there now you know what had happened, where the metal shaving had came from, and also uh, potentially what could have caused this. We, we, we know that could have been the old, the 5W40 that we used, and uh, could also have been the spring. I may have forgotten to put the spring over here, and that could also cause it. Or the other thing also, quality material. Maybe the quality is not that good, but this is a forged one, but I don't know. Maybe that's also uh, an issue with, uh, uh, with our piston. Could have also been the quality issue, but I would try to put the quality issue aside. Maybe use an error, but it is what it is. This is what happened. Uh, people do make mistakes. I know this is a very expensive mistake, but it is what it is. It happened. We just have to move on and uh, carry on.